Animate adventures, but I could only use bleed units. All right, so this challenge is actually be kind of difficult because while I do have like the best bleed units in the game, Sukuna, Pito, and also Tango, which I'm pretty sure all like the top three bleed units, except for maybe like Ezra Cheatheart, which I didn't get. I have the Lightning Ezra. There is one slight problem. I don't have Levi, which is the only bleed mythical unit in the game. I do not have it, so... We have to use Nobata instead, which is a legendary. This is not going to go well. We have almost zero actual air damage. So the real challenge is how long is this unit going to last? Basically soloing a bunch of units. But other than that, we should have a pretty good time doing it because it's not that bad of an air unit, but it could be better. And for this challenge, we're doing Curse Academy just because I'm pretty sure... We'll have enough air damage to do this map and not other maps. Okay, so the real question is, is where do you want to do our air defenses? I think what we're going to do is let's do our air defenses all the way back here because it's a pretty big curve. So we'll be able to get the most out of the range. I think that's our best bet though. Of course, our first goal is to get money up real quick though. So we can actually afford to place out enough units to win this. Okay, here's our first air units. Um, I'm guessing let's go ahead and start placing out air damage in the back. Let's also go ahead and do those two upgrades and then let's start placing it down. Hopefully the range is pretty good because I've actually not used this unit yet. This could potentially go pretty badly, not gonna lie. There's that and all of that. That isn't too bad, actually. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's definitely enough. And it's also a bleed unit too. So on top of its damage, it's also bleeding. It's also bleeding for 420, that's great. And there we go, last on that upgrade. And we don't need to do air damage just yet. It's still, it's still dealing enough to one shot. So let's go ahead and focus on our front damage. And of course, we're starting off with Sakuna because Sakuna does insane range and insane damage. So we're definitely gonna do him first. I do also want to go ahead and do a quick little bit of unit spam to help deal with those shields. Yeah, that is perfect. And there we go, more damage on there. And now it's bleeding finally. It was actually following the challenge. But let's see, we're about to get our first boss. So let's see how fast it takes for us to defeat this one. It does have 48,000 shield and also the floating shield. So hopefully we defeat it pretty quickly. More upgrades and there we go. Okay, this is the good upgrade. This is a ton of damage. And also, the good thing about this is that it actually can dis dismember units. And let's see if we can get to happen. It didn't happen there. This can now dismember units, which lets our units deal more physical damage to it. And luckily, like, all of our units are physical. Every single one of these units, including Nobana, are uh, physical. But I don't think it'll help Nobana any because I don't think it can dismember air units. But there we go. That's one Max Desikuno, so that's quite a bit of damage. And let's also go ahead and start doing more of you because we need you to have a lot of damage. You're like our one chance on winning this. And there we go. That is the maximum. 6,000 damage every six seconds. And also it bleeds and there's a crit chance because of the relic I put on it. This will potentially take us to wave 50. That is the hope. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade a second one so that we're even really sure about this. On the bright side, at least legendary units are very, very cheap. So if anything, I'll have a lot of money to replace it a little bit later to last a little bit longer. But there we go. And that's two of them maxed out. I think we can have five of these, right? Four, five, five of them. Okay, so we have a good chance then. We have a basically around 1,000 DPS on each one. So you have like 5,000 DPS worth of air damage across all of these. That should hopefully go well enough. Also, like, just entirely, this one unit is soloing for us. Sukuna, a singular Sukuna, is doing enough damage to easily win. This is great. So I'm going to dump all my money into this early round just to be safe. There is a fourth one maxed out. We have one more left. There we go. Okay, that is all five of the Nobanas done. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I think. I think that's her actual name. But there we go. So now we are fully prepared to lose within, like, ten rounds. This is great. Hopefully that is enough because there are a lot of air units on this map. They don't have that much health though, so we should be fine. So I'm guessing what I want to do is just because this unit is super, super strong, let's max out all three of them. And also that's a great position because it's covering this entire circle. That is perfect. This is literally just Jujutsu just Kaisen units right now because I haven't upgraded the other two yet. Okay, the second one is done. I'm working on the third one now and we are now at the wave 20. So let's see which boss... Let's see which boss it gives us. Okay, we got the regeneration one, which is perfectly fine because all of our units are bleed. So regeneration does nothing to me. Oh, do you see that too? It got dismembered. So now he doesn't have an arm. He takes 20% more damage. That is perfect. 
There couldn't have been a more perfect boss for us to fight this round. This is amazing. There we go. And it's like no chance to regenerate like whatsoever. And there we go. Okay, well, that is that boss. And we are still doing perfectly fine on the air damage. This is great. And there we go. That is the last Sukuna. So we have all three of these done. All dealing a ton of damage. So I'm guessing... Who should we do next? We have Pito or Tango. Both are pretty good, but I'm pretty sure Pito's more damage. So let's do this one next. Plus they have like no rage. So I want to see what this maxes out at. Okay, there we go. That is the maximum on this unit. 32 range, not too bad. A four range less than Sakuna. So I'm probably going to place that one a little bit better. Actually, that's pretty fine. It still covers over here a tiny bit. Yeah, um, we're definitely going to move these three a little bit closer to the Sakuna. So that way we're not wasting too much rage. Okay, that is our second Pito done. And let's see if the range is better. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a way better position for a unit to be. That is great. We're also still doing pretty good on the winged curses. They all die around here, which is perfect because we're about like halfway through the round and they're only dying right here and they have all of this range to die at. So that is awesome. I'm pretty sure that means this will be enough damage to go through this round. But let's go ahead and start working on the third Pito. We'll do this one next. There is the third Pito, which is even better on the range. Now we have one more upgrade, so let's just spam all that. It is so fast level these units. I'm so used to having units that are like very, very expensive. Like my entire main team costs like a bajillion rounds with a cash to actually upgrade. And these are way better when it comes to the price. And wave 30, and I think that's the max on this unit also. Oh, we're very close. We're very, very close to maxing at the last Pito. But here is the third boss. And we got the Worm Curse Leader. Okay, that one is actually very easy to fight. And <laughs> there we go. It's dead. That was incredibly fast. Not gonna lie. And also there is the last of the Pitos maxed out. Awesome. So I'm guessing our last unit is going to be the five Tangos. But I'm guessing we'll do this one first. Because this one might be in a good spot to actually upgrade it. Okay, there's the maxed out Tango. And that is not too bad. Pretty happy with that. But let's go check up on the air units. Let's see how well they're doing. It looks like they're still dying around this range despite having more health now. Of course, it is at the 30,000 per unit. But they do have a pretty big AoE circle. So that isn't too bad. Okay, it looks like we're still gonna be fine for quite a while because they're still going up to like right here at most. That is perfect. And also, the last one isn't even in range yet. It's, it's only hitting till here. So it's not even in range of the units before they die. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to win this with no bot. I'm so glad it was enough damage. So I'm guessing for now, let's just keep doing overkill and upgrading the tangos. Just because why not? Literally so many bleed units. This is great. And there we go. That is the last tango. So all of those are maxed out. All four Pitos and all three Sukunas. We're also at wave 40 and we are still doing amazing on the air damage. And I haven't actually seen yet. What is the bleed damage on this unit? So once it hits... It has like, like 780 bleed a second. That is awesome. So yeah, the air unit is dying incredibly fast, but the boss is here. And before I even see it, the boss is dead. Yeah, that's about right. Oh my Lord, bleed units are actually so strong. I mean, it's not really doing anything having so many bleed units, but all the individual units are very, very strong. At least I don't think bleed stacks. Let me know in the comments, does bleed stack, if you have more than one bleed unit hitting, does it bleed twice or does it only bleed for whichever one does more damage? I'm not sure. Or like whichever one's first. That would be interesting because that would actually make bleed units kind of good if you can have like all three Sakutas all doing bleed at the exact same time instead of only one of them working. Not sure because I like never actually use bleed units in this game, but oh my lord, the Nobanas are doing so good. Look at that. Tearing through all of that health. That is amazing. But now that I maxed everything out, yeah, I, I can't place anything else. I'm going to go ahead and start saving up all of my money and then wait until wave 50, which shouldn't take too long at all.
Oh no, what is this? What is this? Why are they getting so far? That, um... That almost isn't good. At least we're on wave 49, so if anything, we're gonna last to wave 50. Hmm, hopefully, hopefully they catch back up. But there we go, that is wave 50. Is it gonna get through? Oh, that might actually get through. And okay, that one didn't. This one, okay, one of these two are probably gonna get through, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, it was that one. We lost at wave 50. Okay, so two different things. First of all, A, we made the wave 50. Second of all, Novana's actually not that bad. I mean, I know it was a legendary, but a singular legendary air took us to wave 50. That is actually amazing. Definitely good legendary. De get that legendary if you don't have any air units. But here's the wave 50 boss. Let's see how fast this one dies, even though we're about to lose to an air unit. I'm not gonna bother defending it because I'm not gonna have to worry about replacing because we'll just end up losing like one round later. But okay, that is the shield gun on the unit and that's also dismembered, sustained 20% more. And we lost, there we go, wave 51. And the boss is almost dead. It's lost most of its health sitting right here. It's so flashy. Oh my lord, so many effects. But there we go. That is the boss dead. That was pretty good. We can defeat the wave 50 boss with just bleed units, three of them. And then we also can defeat all heirs with a singular Nobana. That's, that's not too bad. I'm happy about that. That was a pretty good round.